Hi, Dementia Caregivers. This is Pat Snyder. Um, some of you have asked me to share uh, what are some uh, books that uh, helped me through the journey. And so I'd like to do that with you uh, briefly today. So I'm just going to pick up some of them and show them to you and, uh, and just recommend them. They may show up as... Um, uh, backwards on your page uh, on your screen and uh, so you'll have to pay close attention not only just watching let me scoot to one side here uh, my book uh, of course I'm going to recommend first because it is uh, the book that is designed for when you first get the diagnosis uh, how do you find your feet how do you find some hope how do you get a sense of some level of control for your life again what might happen in your family and how do you manage that uh, how do you deal with medical professionals uh, what do you do when sometimes doctors don't quite know what to do and how do you handle the appointments when you actually are able to get an appointment with a doctor things like that are in this book uh, this is my John that's my sweet John let me put him right up there at the camera and let you get a good look at his sweet face that was John at our son's uh, wedding, uh, and that was just a short, a couple years before he, we actually uh, started on this journey and got our diagnosis. So um, this book is, is to help you get started, and it has 30 pages of uh, bullet point kinds of tips in the back of it, things that I found that were just simple things that'll get you started. Uh, it's a design not to overwhelm. Uh, you can read it a little bit at a time. Some people read it all at once. Uh, but it's really designed for where you are uh, right after you get the diagnosis. So that's why I, it's where you start your journey. And um, uh, it's specific to Lewy body dementia, but people have told me they think it pretty much works for caregiving in general. Uh, because it's an overwhelming thing to become a caregiver for another human. So, Treasures in the Darkness, Extending the Early Stage of Lewy Body Dementia, Parkinson's, and uh, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Disease. Uh, so, that's the first one. For those of you who are dealing with Lewy Body Dementia, I think I put this up before. This is the brand new, hot off the presses book by Lewy Body Dementia Association, uh, Facing Lewy Body Dementia Together. It is a very compact, uh, but just full of good information to get you going, give you an understanding of what to do, how to do it, what not to do, um, those kinds of things. It, quite valuable and available free of charge from the Lewy Body Dementia Association. Uh, just go to lbda.org and uh, click on resources and um, it will say something like materials to order and you go there and you'll you will see this book is available. Uh, caregiver packet. This will come in the caregiver packet along with some other really good resources. And one thing that's really special about this book is in the back you can actually tear off uh, a very important document and that is the emergency treatment of psychosis in LBD. Very, very important information for taking with you when you're dealing with any medical profession. Have that in your wallet. Have it in uh, your loved one's wallet. Um, always available and that's available when you get this booklet you get the alert card with it the medical alert card so I would recommend this one um, the next book I don't have a hard copy of because I have it on my Kindle but it's considered to be uh, the book the guru book for Lewy body dementia patients um, uh, and caregivers it's called um, a caregivers guide to Lewy body dementia by Helen and Jim Whitworth and they've written three books that are specific to uh, dementia caregivers. The first one is A Caregiver's Guide. Um, and the second one is Managing Cognitive Issues. Um, I was a reader for this book the, in the preparation stage. It is, uh, this is the one that they sent to me. Um, and it, it's just very practical. Helen and Jim, let me show you their third book uh, that I also recommend. Uh, this is my favorite of the three by far. Responsive dementia care is my favorite. Uh, fewer behaviors, fewer drugs, and Helen told me it's her favorite too. I was also a reader for this book. Um, absolutely excellent. Uh, lots of examples, lots of detail, lots of rubber meets the road stuff, all for the whole journey. 
Uh, and that's what their all of their books do. They kind of take you through the whole thing. Um, if you can handle it, uh, if you're not too early in the journey and you won't get overwhelmed, these books are really, really uh, very specific and very helpful. So it depends on where you are. Uh, you may want to take your time, but uh, you, I suggest very much that you add these books to your, to your library. The Whitworth books, they're the gurus. They're the ones uh, uh, who, uh, who really are considered to be the experts in Lewy body dementia uh, caregiving. Uh, and Jim helped, he's one of the founders, one of the co-founders for the Louis Body Dementia Association. Another book that is a generic book for anyone who's dealing with any kind of dementia is written by Dr. Pauline Boss, and uh, she's not a physician. I think she's a counselor, I believe. Loving Someone Who Has Dementia, How to Find Hope While Coping with Stress and Grief. <sighs> there is something called ambiguous loss that happens to us when we care give for dementia patients. Um, there's something called anticipatory grief. This book explains those things in detail. Uh, these are common things. We think it's only happening to us, but they're very, very common things. And uh, this book will help you through uh, learning about that, learning to process that, learning to deal with that. Uh, and this book really did make a difference for me. Loving Someone Who Has Dementia by Dr. Pauline Boss. Um, now, this was not during uh, my um, uh, time of taking care of John. This came out just very, very recently. But Dr. Edward Shaw, who's based in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, former uh, Harvard uh, professor, um, his wife developed Alzheimer's disease. And he ended up founding a resource center there in Winston-Salem, if you're anywhere near that area where you get full-blown support, counseling support, all the things that uh, you may need. All Just a wonderful, wonderful thing that Ed did uh, in honor of his wife. And he wrote this book, The Dementia Care Partners Workbook, A Guide for Understanding, Education, and Hope. Um, they use basically these 10 lessons that are in this book. Uh, anyone who uh, becomes a part of their program who wants to be in the ongoing counseling support needs to go through this workbook. So it's like it, it walks you through. It doesn't go into great, great depth, but it walks you through the basics of the things you'll need. And so this is a book that I think might help you for getting those basics uh, to help you on this journey. Uh, Ed also uh, co-wrote a wonderful book called, um, he co-wrote it with Deborah Barr and Gary Chapman, Dr. Gary Chapman, Keeping Love Alive as Memories Fade, The Five Love Languages and the Alzheimer's Journey. Keeping Love Alive as Memories Fade. Um, the Five Love Languages uh, is a very, very popular book, uh, a good number of years back by Dr. Gary Chapman. And he's written several versions since. This is the one for dementia caregivers. And it is wonderful. It talks about how to apply the, um, the basics of uh, expressing your love in a way that is meaningful and can be received uh, when you are taking care of someone who has dementia. And so uh, very excited uh, about this book and uh, it's come out fairly recently. So keeping love alive as memories fade. Uh, very, very, uh, very good book. Okay, this is uh, this has been around forever. This is the fifth edition of the 36 hour day. Um, it kind of is the general thing. It just covers all kinds of things that have to do with dementia caregiving. I don't particularly care for the definition of Lewy body dementia. It is not comprehensive. It is not detailed. It, uh, there's a lot more that needs to be in that section. Um, but it does cover a, a huge amount of information uh, and give you, it's thought provoking uh, and gives you some ways to start thinking about how to do your journey well. Uh, okay, now the next three books that I wanna share with you uh, are, are having to do with the spiritual side of things. And I'm coming from a Christian perspective, so these books are going to be uh, uh, Christian. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One of them isn't. Um, 
This one is more generic. I got there a little too quick. This one I found to be very, very helpful when I was taking care of John. It's called Creating Moments of Joy by Jolene Brackey. And it has these little one-page uh, uh, titles, uh, one-page of uh, things that it talks about, little moments, little stories, little moments that you can uh, read about, be inspired by, and actually take some of these ideas and create them for your loved one. Uh, so this book really, really did help me a lot. Creating Moments of Joy by Jolene Brackey. Uh, now I'm going to the spiritual books. Um, the first one, I don't have the copy right here. The first one that we used in the Dementia Caregiver class, uh, which is sponsored by our church, Wake Forest Presbyterian Church here in North Carolina, um, uh, was the Jesus Calling book. Those, this, these books are very famous. They've been out there for a long time. So Jesus Calling... Uh, and the reason I think they are so they were so helpful to the people in our class was that they're very tender, they're very gentle, they remind us we're not alone, they remind us we're in this journey, God is with us in the journey. The follow-up book to that is Jesus Always, and that is also by Sarah Young, both Jesus Calling and Jesus Always. And uh, so we also have used Jesus Always, which uh, is just like Jesus Calling, it's just a continuation of the same good thing. And then, uh, you might remember I mentioned Deborah Barr before, who was one of the co-authors of the book about the five love languages uh, for dementia caregivers. Deborah Barr wrote a magnificent uh, devotional book called Grace for the Unexpected Journey. Uh, and once again, this is a brief little daily devotional. Um, there are 60 of them. And it just digs into... Uh, where you could well be, and um, it it speaks to your heart, your soul, your spirit, and really does uh, surround you with a sense of God's grace uh, to give you strength in the journey. Uh, I want to include those. I want to include that part in the discussion because sometimes it just doesn't come up, and for many of the caregivers, the hundreds and hundreds of caregivers that I have communicated with directly over the last few years of my life, that spiritual piece is very important. Um, and so I did want to include that in my set of books. Uh, I hope these will help you. There are many other good books out there. These are the ones that are in my library that helped me. Uh, you may even want in your comments, you may want to add those books that helped you. Uh, and then when people look at this video, they can look down at the comments and see some other good titles. I invite you to join the conversation, jump in, and uh, be a part of helping other people. Thank you for what you do.